Hello, I'm Cyril Pétion Rossillon, or for people who speak French, I'm Cyril Pétion Rossillon. Bienvenue à notre émission. And I'm Lynn Palm Pétion Rossillon, and we're here to show you some really fun things that uh, will be educational and entertaining, but fun things that will be a little bit different twist to you learning something, because we're going to let our horse be the teacher. And are you sure you want to be a teacher for us? Are you sure? Okay, very good. Well, um, what we're going to do is go through some fundamentals about riding that we all practice when we ride, whether you're a recreational rider or show ring rider. But we're going to show you common struggles that you and I may have all the time with our riding, whether it's with balance, our communication with the horse, or whether it's putting the horse in balance of what he, we want him to do. And we're going to show those common challenges we have and show what a reflection it has on the horse. Then we're going to ride well and we're going to show the reflections that has on the horse. So we're going to let the horse be the teacher. His name is Lark's Home Run. We call him Homer. Are you ready to go, Homer? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, very good. And Cyril, are you ready to go? Absolutely, I'm ready. Are you going to be a good student? I'm always a good student. Are you going to be a good bad rider? I'm going to be the best bad rider you'll ever see. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get started. Good, and I see a horse that's got his ears forward, working back and forth, attentive to his rider, relaxed in his tail, a nice swing to the bottom of the tail as he's working. The overall body composure is relaxed. What I really like that I'm seeing is the evenness of the tempo of the trot. Both horse and rider are harmonizing together. Look how relaxed the horse's mouth is. Look how relaxed his overall body composure is. Ears forward, relaxed in his work, evenness of stride, and another good good tail will always see the bottom of his tail swing back and forth and a nice harmony to his stride. The proper rider's position and balance are the first fundamental we teach at Palm Partnership Training. It's a little bit like when you learn how to drive. You first learn how to sit. You first learn how to position your hands on the steering wheel, where to position your feet on the pedals. Well that's the same thing with riding. You need to learn first how to position yourself, how to sit, how to balance yourself before doing anything else. And let's show one of the many common challenges we all have. Let's show the upper body weight. Okay, good. Being too far forward now. Certainly not keeping a good position. When this happens, the lower leg goes back. Note that the horse speeded up right away. But really look at his frowning ears. You can tell that he's not happy there. Good, now, Cyril, let's go back to a correct position now. Let, make sure you look ahead. There you go. Look at the ears again, immediately forward. Look at the relaxation through the neck, the mouth. Again, ears are forward, relaxed horse. Okay, now, let's lean too far back and your legs forward. And really balance off your feet. And again, note the ears, the head, the mouth. The horse is very confused. And as you see, his behaviors are just going to keep getting more and more aggravated. And again, that, that rider being off balance is always, always changing the demeanor of the horse and his overall expression and willingness. Now, n n normal position, correct position, don't hold with those legs. Your legs stay relaxed on the horse's sides in contact with the sides, but legs just having a contact, no gripping at whatsoever. Just a quick tip. Whatever the rider does on horseback will affect the horse's attitude, behavior, but it will also impact his balance and way of movement. And he really proved, I hope, to everyone how much horses love lightness. They love you to give them a signal that, that gives them a chance to think about it in their head, respond to you, and if you get smoothness, you get willingness, 
hey, you've just given your horse the partnership that we're all trying to achieve with our horses. In our next subject, the third installment of our series, Let Your Horse Be Your Teacher, we will show you how the horse's body position affects the horse's attitude, behavior, but also way of movement.